Okay, hello everybody. Today we're here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 in Cow's Diamond DA42. We have a 151 nautical mile flight from Bravo Uniform Romeo Burbank to Sierra Echo Echo Gillespie Field. We'll be flying IFR and using the Burp29 Tech Route in combination with SayIntentions.ai ATC to manage our flight today. Let's get started. So we'll do our flow, we'll check that all of our switches are set, our circuit breakers are in, our power levers are to idle, trim is set to take off, we've got our window open already, we're checking that the prop area is clear. We'll turn on the electric master. As the garments boot up, we'll bring the flaps down and verify that we have full range of travel for the left and the right flaps. Looking good so far. Now we'll move the Garmin screens forward as we bring the flaps back up and we've got built-in checklists with the Diamond TDA42, which I just love. Flaps are back up. And we'll go to the normal operating procedures and the before start checklist. All right, there we go. So we've already got our battery master on. We'll check our voltage. We're at the bottom of the green, but that's sufficient for startup. Check that our flight controls are free and correct and our rudders are correct. That all looks good. We've already done the flaps. Next we'll do the gear warning light. That looks good. No passengers, we could skip this. We'll do the variable elevator stop test. Pull back on the flight controls. Full forward with the power levers. Bring them back. That looks good. Next up, we'll page down through all of this. Fuel quantity left, right. Looks good. MFD. Start key is in the ignition. Power levers are to idle. Our strobe light is already on. Clear prop. Prop is clear. We've got the left engine glow indicator just extinguished. And we could turn the key to the left and start it. Watch the oil pressure come up for the left engine that's in the green. Toggle over and we can see that it's producing power. Now we'll move on to the right engine and repeat the process. Turn on the right engine. Wait for the glow indicator to extinguish. It's clear. Crank the key over. Watch the oil pressure come up on the right engine, also into the green. And it's producing electricity. That's the end of the before start checklist. Okay, next checklist. Our fuel pumps are off. We'll get the fuel selectors into crossfeed. Bring the right one down and the left one. We'll check our pedo heat, turn it on, check that the enunciator extinguishes, turn it back off. That all looks good. And next we'll bring the avionics on and for this we'll switch over to my real life headset. And I am using a Flight Solo GA adapter. We can take a look at what that looks like here, which lets me plug in real aviation headsets and then has an output of USB that I could plug right into my computer. Check, 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 out of here. Loud and clear, how me? All right, Avionics Master is on. We're gonna hold off on the FMS setup uh, until we get our clearance. So let's start by looking up the frequencies. Bob Hope Airport, Information Golf, 1553 Zulu, Wind 125 at 4, Visibility 8, Sky Conditions, Clear, Temperature 21, Dew Point 15, Altimeter 3001, Arriving and Departing Runways 1526. Burbank clearance, Diamond 5271, Quebec, IFR to Gillespie Field, Sierra Echo Echo, ready to copy with information, Golf. I am working on that clearance, stand by. Yeah, that was a quick response. Diamond 5271, Quebec, Bob Hope clearance, information, Golf is current, cleared to Gillespie. After departure, fly radar vectors to darts, then is filed. Departure runway 08, initial climb to 4000. 
departure on 135.05, Squawk 5751. Clear to Gillespie Field, radar vectors DART then is filed. Initial departure 4000, free, uh, departure frequency 135.05, Squawk 5751, Diamond 5271, Quebec. Diamond 71, Quebec, read back correct, ground will be on 123.9er. Oops. All right. Read that, read that back in an order a little different than I was expecting, but it still worked. I kind of liked it. They didn't give me a um, expect 9,000 10 minutes after departure. So they gave me an initial 4,000, but I filed for 9,000. I guess I could call back and ask them. Let's see what happens. Burbank Quartz, Diamond 5271, Quebec. Uh, I filed for 9,000. You gave me an, a uh, 4,000 on departure. Uh, what time can I expect 9,000? That wasn't the most elegant way to say that. Expect 9,000 feet 10 minutes after departure. Okay, expect 9,000 feet 10,000. <laughs> try that again. Expect 9,000 feet 10 minutes after departure. Diamond 5271, Quebec. 10,000 minutes after departure. <laughs> eh, 10 minutes. All right, that makes sense. Diamond 71, Quebec. Expect 9,000 feet, 10 minutes after departure. Clear to Gillespie. After departure, fly radar vectors to darts, then as filed. Departure runway 08. Initial climb altitude 4,000. Departure on 135.05, squawk 5751. Okay, clear to Gillespie Field. Radar vectors dart, then as filed. Uh, departure climb and maintain 4,000. Expect 9,000, 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 135.05, squawk 5751. Five one, and we'll expect runway eight. Diamond five two seven one, Quebec. Diamond seven one, Quebec. Read back, correct. Contact <laughs> ground on one two three point nine. -er. There we go. <laughs> All right, I liked it. I like that you can kind of uh, be a bit free form with your responses, and the AI still works it out. One two three point nine. -er. Uh, we got a five seven five one for the transponder. There's my code down here, transponder. Five, seven, five, one. Alright, now. All right, avionics look good. They give me what I filed for, so let's just check that that's actually in the FMS. Flight plan. Darts Paradise. Hail, that looks good. Checklist. Runway 9 by Mike Selectors, get these Alpha back on. Altimeters are set. Standby, let's make sure that's uncaged. It is. Transponder. 5751. Engine Delta temperatures. Goal, short runway 7, ready for takeoff. We're in the green, and we just have to get taxi instructions, we're on ground. Over to 118.7, uh, Duke, Kilo, Uniform. We're in ground, I'm in 5271, Quebec, we're parked at Millionaire, ready to taxi with information, Golf. Diamond 5271, Quebec, Bob Hope Ground, taxi to runway 8 via Bravo Delta. Taxi runway 8 via Bravo Delta, Diamond 5271, Quebec. Bravo Delta. Uh, super easy. So we're just going this way. Let's get that window closed. Bob Hope Ground. Here, minus three five nine air. Taxi lights on. With you, clear of runway one five at Bravo three. Check brakes. Nose wheel uh, steering. Brake is released. Bravo three, Bravo cross runway two six, Charlie six, Charlie. Brakes work. King air three five nine. 
King Air 359, read back correct. Turn right, this is Bravo. Black square, you're there, that's the way to remember it. So the black square around the B means that we are on Bravo, and yellow is pointing us to Delta. Turn right onto Delta. This is a really nicely modeled airport. And there we go. Delta 7, we are on Delta. All right, we're running with live weather, live time. The windsocks matching up with the directions they gave us, so that's good. And up here we have what looks like a hold short line, and technically it is. It's an ILS hold short line, but they didn't tell us to hold short it. Civil ground has 134 request engine start. I had a verbal with the chief flight instructor about two weeks ago, and uh, he was requesting engine start. trying to stump me on uh, some questions, and one of them was, what are the two hold short lines at an airport? And it actually wasn't something that I'd covered in any of my studying, but I knew it from flight simming. I knew the ILS hold short line uh, from flight simming, so score one for flight simming. Twin Diamond 83 Mike Bob Hope ground taxi to runway 15 via Delta Bravo. Yeah, we got another diamond. Contact tower on 118.7 when ready for departure. Taxi to runway 15 via Alpha Bravo. Contact tower on 118.7 when ready to depart. Twin Diamond 83 Mike. Parking brake is set. Next checklist, please. Seat belts, canopy, circuit breakers, trim, fuel selectors are on. 1971 Papa requesting taxi to runway 15. Rotor trim is set, no flaps for takeoff. Bob Hope ground taxi to runway 15 via Charlie Hope to runway 8. Then continue taxi via Delta Bravo. Contact tower on 118.7 when ready for departure. Power levers to idle. Engine instruments look good. Motor switches are to auto. ECU test. FedEx 17 taxi to runway 05 via Zulu 1 Orange Bravo 3 Golf Delta 1. And we are going to turn on pitot heat since I'm expecting to be in some clouds. Transponder, we got our 5257. Fuel pumps are coming on. MFD. And we are ready. Ready to taxi. Bravo Tower, Diamond 5271, Quebec, holding short, runway 8, ready for departure. Diamond 71 Quebec, runway 08. Winds 125 at 4, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, runway 8, Diamond 5271 Quebec. Clear. All right, airspeed's alive. Gauges look good. Get back on center line. Bit of a crosswind. And rotate. Chicago Tower, good afternoon. I'm Nine nine nine. Final approach, runway two eight right. American 2999, Chicago Tower, winds 300 at 4, runway 28 right, clear to land. Now, uh, since we've got terrain in front of us, hopefully they'll vector us. Diamond 
Diamond 71 Quebec, contact departure. Over to departure, Diamond 71 Quebec. Norcal approach, I'm at 5271 Quebec, 1800, climbing 4000. Wolf Air 222, Camagui departure, descend and maintain 4000, turn left, heading 180. Diamond 5271 Quebec, Norcal approach, radar contact, clear direct dart, climb 9000. Clear direct dart, Diamond 5271 Quebec. Can barely hear them. Level. Core direct dart, climb 9000, Diamond 5271 Quebec. Okay, under 9000. Diamond 71 Quebec, contact Los Angeles Center on 13.85. And I can barely hear them. Let's aviate first and then we'll navigate. Uh, what'd they say? American 1280, National Air Force. 3 Los Angeles Center, Diamond 5271, Quebec, 4,500, climbing 9,000. Diamond 5271, Quebec, Los Angeles Center. Good morning, Burbank Altimeter, 29.9 two nine or seven. 29.9 nine or seven, Diamond 5271, Quebec. 29.9 or seven. That went down. Okay, that's better. Some autopilot problems. Wow, that looks awesome. Gear up, flaps are up, fuel pumps off. Climb power is set, don't need alternate air, landing lights off. United 557, cleared for the Clash 4 arrival into Denver. And leveling out at 9,000. One two zero point three five, air shuttle sixty one eighteen. Bye bye. One two four dust one seven, American fifty seven. Kirk Center, American fourteen forty eight, flight level three seven zero. Diamond seven one Quebec, contact SoCal approach on one two four point three. Over to SoCal approach on one two four point three, Diamond five two seven one Quebec. SoCal approach, Diamond five two seven one Quebec, level nine thousand. Diamond 5271 Quebec, SoCal approach, good morning, Laverne, altimeter 29.9 or 7. 29 or 7, Diamond 5271 Quebec. No change. Okay. Got somebody, same altitude, straight ahead, but heading northwest. Diamond 71 Quebec, contact Los Angeles Center on 126.35. Over to Center on 126.35, Diamond 5271 Quebec. 126.35. Los Angeles Center, Diamond 5271, Quebec, level 9000. Diamond 5271, Quebec, Los Angeles Center, good afternoon, Chino, altimeter 29.9 or 7. 29 or 9 or 7, Diamond 5271, Quebec. Uh, one of the skills that took a little while to develop when I started talking to real life ATC was developing a bit of a buffer and splitting some of my attention to always listening to the radios. It's almost like um, you just put your brain in passive mode and listen to either your call sign or respond to same altitude, same aircraft type, you know, in your vicinity. Your brain just snaps ahead and you get a little bit of uh, ability to have a buffer for what they're going to read to you. And it took a while to, to get that skill to be able to just like have ATC just throw a frequency at you and kind of store it in temporary storage in your brain long enough for you to dial it into the radio all while you're kind of focusing on something else like flying the plane or doing whatever you have to do next. All right, we just turned at Paradise, Papa Delta Zulu. Looks like some of the haze is clearing up here, although we got more to the southeast along the coastline. Some clouds.
Okay, next up is Tanner. Diamond 71 Quebec. Expect the RNAV runway 9 left approaching to Gillespie. Expect descent in 20 minutes. Advise if you want to descend sooner. Okay, we'll expect the RNAV runway 9 left approach into Gillespie, uh, and we'll expect descent in 20 minutes. Diamond 5271 Quebec. Hello, thank you. We have 9. New York Center, good afternoon. Mirage 24 at flight level 317, climbing to flight level 360. RNAV runway 9. Sheriff Tokod. Brickyard 4827, go ahead and reach out to Washington Center on 118.825, will you? At 2400. Oh, much clearer. Looks nice. Check the bell on 121.575. Good day. We got someone climbing towards us, 1,200 feet below us, just off our nose. We're not going to be able to see them over the nose. Got some traffic during the day. It is pretty much impossible during the day to see any lights. You can see the red navigation lights and the strobe lights, but you never see those during the day. Diamond five two seven one Quebec. San Diego approach. Diamond five two seven one Quebec. Level nine thousand. Approach on one one eight decimal four five five. Diamond five two seven one Quebec. SoCal approach. Good afternoon, San Diego. Altimeter two nine or point nine or seven. Two nine or nine or seven. Diamond five two seven one Quebec. Descend and maintain 7,000. Descend and maintain 7,000. Diamond 5271, Quebec. Diamond 71, Quebec. Descend and maintain 5,000. Descend and maintain 5,000. Diamond 71, Quebec. Descending, passing 12,200. Diamond 71, Quebec. Contact Gillespie Tower on 120.7. Over to Tower on 120.7. Diamond 71, Quebec. Gillespie Tower, Diamond 5271, Quebec, RNAV 9 left. Okay, now we're just flying out here in the middle of nowhere. Diamond 5271, Quebec, Gillespie Tower, turn left heading 285 vectors for the RNAV runway 9 or left approach. Left heading 285 vectors, RNAV 9 left approach, Diamond 5271, Quebec. I think he's going to vector me to Tilk, but I'm way too high. Gillespie Tower, Skyhawk, Fire 4 Echo is midfield left downwind, 2 left. Looks like tower, on the left. Nice, nice here, traffic on landing at Gillespie Field. Gillespie Tower, Diamond 5271, Quebec, request direct TOCAD. Diamond 71, Quebec, proceed direct TOCAD. Proceed direct to Tokad, Diamond 5271 Quebec. Tower request descent to 2400, Diamond 5271 Quebec. Diamond 71 Quebec, descend 2 to 400. Descend 2400, Diamond 5271 Quebec. Okay, a little bit of self vectoring. <laughs> Uh, so we got direct TOCAD 
Uh, then to Tilra, which is our final approach fix. Both of those have to be at 2,400. We'll capture the uh, glide slope there, and then we'll do our descent, our our nav. Diamond 71 Quebec, turn right, heading 175. Or maybe not. Right heading 175, Diamond 5271 Quebec. Uh, American 2236, contact departure. Well, that's kind of where we're going, so let's go with it. Diamond 71 Quebec, 7 miles from Tokod. Turn left heading 135. Descend and maintain 2000 until established. Cleared for the RNAV runway 9 or left approach. Left heading 135, descend and maintain 2000. Uh, cleared for the RNAV runway 9 left approach. Diamond 5271 Quebec. Get ourselves in approach mode. Let's bring down the gear. Flaps landing, three green, neutral. And we're holding steady for Tilra. Diamond 71 Quebec, winds calm. Runway 9 or left, clear to land. Runway 9 or left, clear to land, 5271 Quebec. There we go, we captured it. Alright, flaps. And we're just in the arc. Full flaps. up. Yeah, I probably should have just self-exited. So we're going to go all the way over there. All right, we're going full length of the runway. Diamond Sorry. 71 Quebec, welcome to Gillespie. Contact ground on 121.7. Over to 121.7, Diamond 5271 Quebec. Ground point nine or going to 2242. Strobes are off. Landing will leave taxi on. Taxi to park, ain't our discretion. Delta 22 for all your help today. Gillespie Ground, Diamond 5271, Quebec. Clear runway 9 left at Delta 8, taxi to General Aviation Parking. Diamond 5271, Quebec, Gillespie Ground. Taxi to General Aviation Parking via Delta 8, Delta Bravo. Cross runway 27 left, then cross runway 27 right at your discretion. Have a good day. Taxi General Aviation parking via Delta 8, Delta Bravo, cross runway 27 left and 27 right at my discretion. Diamond 5271, Quebec. Delta 8, Delta Bravo, all right. So he kind of gave me my choice here. Cross. Two, seven, left and right. Oh, I see. It's really this way. Well, let's do that. We'll go to circle air. Gotta go around the block here. There's Bravo. Let's be round. Diamond 5271, Quebec, holding short runway 2 left. Request cross runway 2 left to 
I'm sorry, request <laughs> cross runway 27 left, 27 right, Diamond Talk 27 1 Quebec. Good luck with that. Diamond 7 1 Quebec, cross runway 27 left and runway 27 right approved. Cross runway 27 left, 27 right, Diamond 5 27 1 Quebec. Easy for me to say. You give me a crossing, but I always ask. There's circle. Ooh, we've got a uh, marsh war thinking out there. Let's see. No place for me to park. And those guys are just chatting by their car. Hey guys. Operating parking check. Parking brake is set. Power lever is idle. ELT not activated. Engine. Avionics master. Get that off. Alright. Strobes. Fuel pump. Master. Big thank you to friend of the channel, Faux Flight, for giving me the correct power settings to land the DA-42 because I was doing it completely wrong and having a bear of a time with it, but I got my butter landing from it. So thank you. Be sure to check out his channel as well for awesome aviation content. So this was fun doing a longer IFR flight with Say Intentions. It went pretty well. We got a little bit off track with the vectoring at the end, but it came all together and we had a nice approach and a landing. So I hope you enjoy realistic general aviation content like this. If you do, be sure to click that like button, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, as always, for following along with me, and stay tuned for further flight adventures.